Since I was little, people have been telling me that I can do whatever I want, be whoever I want. So I went into middle school thinking that that might actually be true. While I appreciate its idealism, it doesn't take long for one to discover just how fake that notion is. Society is a system based on labels. Some you're born with, some you earn. But once you have one, you have it forever. Sometimes people learn it before they even learn your name. But once, a year ago, nobody knew me at school. I was labelless. Of course, I didn't realize or accept this at the time. Maybe if I had, my story would be a completely different one. I'm Beth. Who are you? Your name? Carla. What's your name tag? I don't have one. What are those things anyways? Shouldn't they have, you know, your name? I don't know exactly. We just have them. It's always been this way. And the fact that everyone's frozen? I don't know. Was I just frozen? Yeah. Again? This has happened before, but I thought it was a one-time thing. What's happened before? Someone like you comes along and, well, unfreezes people. The best thing to do is act like you're still frozen. This has happened before? Maybe not to you. Unless you're tapped on the shoulder, you would never know. And if you are, it's utterly terrifying. Tapped on the shoulder? Why was I not frozen? You're not one of us. You're new here. And for some reason, people can't label you just by looking at you. It's rare, but it does happen. You'll get one soon enough. All you have to do is wait for the bell to ring and things can go back to normal. You guys are all wearing name tags, like that's supposed to be more important than you, you know, your actual name. And do we even have to mention the fact that everyone is literally frozen in time? This is not normal. I need to know what it is. I'm getting out of here. I agree. This is a whole new level of terrifying. Maybe, but it's still normal. And trying to change anything is going to end horribly. Jenny, this is bigger than what is and isn't normal. Do you want to see what's happening? It doesn't matter what I want. You guys are going to get yourselves in deep trouble and change absolutely nothing. So go if you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. I don't care. I need to know. Let's go. Be careful. Are we sure this is a good idea? Maybe Jenny was right. Is that insane? That probably sounds insane. You can turn around if you want to. I mean, I, I, I don't know what, what's ahead of us. I, mean, I, I kind of want all the help that I can get. Turning around is probably the safe choice, and quite possibly the smart choice, but I kind of want to be a little bit stupid here. You have to see this. You should be in class. Um. You need to go to class. You see, I tried. But What's your name? Bisexual. You need to go to class now. Okay. Sorry, I wasted your time. Okay. Now, back to you. I was. I. I didn't exactly. Exactly. Like I don't. I just. Can't. I'm just looking for like. I. Like, I was just looking for my combination. Like I don't know. What? 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 Um. Sorry. What I was that? Well, you know, I. I'm what are you to thinking? Work it. I'm sorry. You need to go.
need help getting to class? You guys were right. This isn't normal, but you seriously need to be more careful next time. Her time is limited, but ours is too. So will you help us then? I'd love to. Heartless wants me dead now, so how much more trouble can I really get into? Papers look like clues. Carla, go get the name tags you found. Jenny, come over here. This doesn't make any sense. Three. Nothing. <sighs> what does this even mean? We already knew the school had name tags. Keep looking. I did not dump pencil shavings all over the floor for this. It's all just information about students. Nothing abnormal. Wait, I think I found something! One of those name tags says immigrant, right? Yeah, why? Here's some information on a new foreign exchange student who's transferring to the school soon. He just immigrated from the United States. Do you think this is specifically made for him? Exactly. Okay, well that's still not anything new though, is it? Well, maybe not. But if the school has information and a label for this student, why doesn't Beth have one? Maybe we can find her file. Do I have a file? Let's find out. What is it? I think I found it. Okay, great. What does it say? It's not great. It's horrible. What is it? I know this is scary, but we need to know what the file says, Beth. Three. Dear Bethany Cornell, until now, you had believed that the reason you had no label the reason you didn't freeze when everyone else did is because you weren't one of us. The truth, however, is not quite as wonder-filled. You are one of us. Each and every one of us, as people, sees people differently. However, no matter how progressive we think we are or how much affection we feel for them, we will fundamentally all see one thing in any given person. Not a name or even a title, but a label. We've all spent so long trying to find answers as to what makes this school and the events that have taken place so abnormal. But the true meaning of all this is that it is normal. None of us are wearing name tags with singular words written on them. None of us freeze when a bell rings. None of us will suddenly unfreeze when you tap us on the shoulder. This is in your head. The labels, the freezing, all of it. The truth was in yourself all along. You already knew we were more than our labels. However, you'll only truly see past our labels when you recognize that you do see them. We all do. Some of them you learned before you learned your own name. Signed, Carla and Jenny. You guys wrote that? I couldn't think these things are true. I, I couldn't think these kinds of things up. We didn't write anything. This is all in your head, Beth. There was never any evil staff or mysterious teachers. This is all you, which means you decide how the story ends. I don't think I know how. <laughs> 